Hello again, this is Gabriel from TruePixel and today we will actually get to create something and that is primitives. By definition, primitives are the building blocks of 3D objects. Basically, they are basic geometric forms that you can use as they are or modify as you want. The most common 3D primitives are cubes, pyramids, cones, spheres and tori. Like the 2D shapes, these 3D primitives can have a resolution level assigned to them. I have created some of them, but let's take it from scratch, see how we create primitives and what we can do with them, how we can edit them and so on. Anything we want to create in Cinema 4D requires to start from a basic primitive. So, we will use this button here. If we simply click on it, it is going to create a cube for us. But if you look closer to the corner of the button, you can see a drop down. If we hold it pressed, we can access more primitives to start from. Not all the buttons that we see here are called primitives, but they are surely tools to help you start a scene. We will only focus on the primitives for today. Since we already have a cube inserted into our scene, let's create another primitive object by choosing one from the drop down. As we notice, the object was brought right inside the cube that we had previously inserted. This means we have to move the first object, make way the other one. Now, any object that we bring into our scene, let's bring a cylinder, is spawned in the same spot. This means that this place here is the middle intersection of all the axes in our space called the ground zero point or the origin point. Keep in mind that any object that you bring into your scene is spawned here and you might have to move it to make room for another one. Let's bring also a tube and a pyramid. Now that we have our primitives into the scene, let's see what we can do with them as they are in their original state. We notice that the selected object gets a yellow highlight outline around it. To keep track of it, we can also look in the list here in the right side that the selected object is yellow. If we select an object from the list, it also highlights it here in the scene. But there's something else that we notice when we select an object. We notice some yellow points that when we put our mouse over it, it gets white. These are called edit points. Let's see what happens if we click and drag one of them. Currently, this changes the shape of the object vertically. This one changes the thickness or the radius. This one changes the interior radius. Remember, you can only edit an object that you have selected. These edit points are very useful when you want to create further more objects from the original primitive that you inserted. So most of the time, your objects, when you just bring them, bring them into the scene, will not remain in the original state. What we also notice when we edit an object is here in the right side, in the Attributes Manager, that the values change when we change the shape. 
So if you have in mind that you want a specific size for an object, you just have to write it here and it will edit itself. For example, we write 800, we write 1000, and we want a height 3000. Now our object is very precisely done. As I have said before, these 3D primitive, they have a resolution level assigned to them. In this attributes manager, they are called rotation segments. They are default broad with 36 rotation segments. Let's see what happens if we reduce this number. And now, with six rotation segments on our object, we notice that our original tube has become a new object that we create other objects from. Please keep in mind that the more rotation segments you apply to the object, the edges are more smooth. Let's see now how we can use the edit points to change the shape of the other primitives. Let's select the torus and see how we can affect it. So this is the inner radius, outer radius. I bet that you can look at the object and think about a lot of objects that you can create from it right now. And the same with the cylinder. Select it, click the yellow dots, and edit. Hey look, a round table board. Okay, let's go to the pyramid. Select it and follow the dots. Okay. Okay, let's move to the next one. The sphere has only one edit point, and you guess one property. And now let's go back to the cube, which trust me, you will use the most in everything you would want to create. Like the others, the cube has the three edit points. which affects it in each direction, move the edit point. You can use this to create walls. You can use it to create floors. We rotate the object. We move it. and everything from a single cube. There are limitless variations and endless solutions what you can achieve just by using primitives and creating your objects. What you have to do is think logically and find the quickest and the best solution to create your final product or object. Let us make a small exercise with what we have learned by now and try to make a table from this board and put it here on this surface. We have a round board that we can make a smaller radius. Now we can make it less thick.
now we need four round feet for, for it. Let us use a different cylinder. We look for it because it is spawned in the center of our scene. Bring it here. We make it less thick, less tall. You see that I'm only using the edit points. I'm not using the manual writing of the parameters. Parameters. In order to align the feet better for the round table, at first we adjust the height we want. <clears throat> we put the board over it. Then we use a different view. Switch to the top view. We pan where our table will be. We select the new cylinder and select it also in the list. And we move it where we might consider the feet for the table would be. Then we copy and paste it. Move it in the direction opposite. Then we select both of them, holding the control key and selecting them. Now we copy paste them again. And we rotate them 90 degrees. Now we switch back to the perspective view and we have a small table that we created only from primitives and edit points. Let's apply some nice color to it and see what we achieved. There you go. If we want to switch this into a square table, all we have to do is select the round plate, go to the attributes manager and change the number for the rotation segments to four. Now we have a square table in just two clicks. You can create more and more objects from the primitives that you can bring from the drop down menu here, or if you just copy paste some of the existing ones and just editing them. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. We will be making more objects from primitives in the future, so stay tuned. Feel free to play with the objects, play with the primitives, create, edit, and uh, get used to them because you'll need them. For more cool stuff, follow me and my next videos to see what's up.